Star Citizen has a lot of really handy third party tools and they're all gonna make your life a lot easier. So today, I'm gonna count down my top five. Guys, I have something exciting to share with you guys. Today's video is brought to you by me and the Down to Earth store. So head over to store.dtrade.com, check out the cool products. Not only are there new designs, but also new products like caps, beanies, jackets, which is something you guys have been asking for. You'll find the link in the video description. But for now, let's get back to the video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today, we're going to be looking at third party tools. We're going to be looking at five different third party tools that I think is absolutely wonderful. There's a lot more out there that I wouldn't be able to fit into this video, but these are my personal favorites. And we're going to start with the DPS calculator. And the name is a little misleading because it is much, much more than just a DPS calculator. This is a ship outfitting utility, outfitting tool. It is super, super handy, as you can see here. The first thing you would do is you would go over here and you would go select your ship. So let's say you have, what ship would you have? Maybe you have a Cutlass Black. That's a really popular ship. So you can go here and you can select the Cutlass Black. First of all, you can see here basic stats on this ship. Um, you can see here where you can uh, where it's possible to uh, to buy it and also where it's possible to rent it if that is uh, is available for that. And then you can see all the different modules that it comes with as standard. And you can sit here and say, oh, you know what, I maybe want to upgrade my shield. So you can go in here and you can look at the shields and as you do, you get the stats up and you can sit here and say, oh, you know what, I'm going to put in some FR76 shields maybe. Maybe that's what you want. And you're also going to say, I want to upgrade my weapons. I want some laser repeaters. Now, the cool thing is once you're done with your, with your setup, of course, you can go out and you can select to save it or you can share it with your friends or something like that. So you can have it available for later use. But you can also go here and you can say non-stock items to cart. What will then happen is you now get a little shopping cart over here with the modules that are non-stock. So all the thing that doesn't come as default. And now you can then sit here and you can take these drop downs and you can select which port. You can see what prices there are the different ports and where you can buy them. So you can make yourself a little, little shopping list. Um, and of course, you can also download it as a text file if you wanted to have it locally. Super, super handy tool. And I use it every time I'm considering upgrading uh, my ship so I can see what is available, what's the stats of the weapons, what the stats of the shields, and make my whole upgrade process a lot easier so I can see where to get it. Super handy tool. Link is in the description. If you, like me, is a bit of a mining nerd that just loves everything that involves a mining laser, then the UEX mining tool here is a wonderful, wonderful resource. It's also a trade tool. You can do some trading in here as well. But let's just go through it. So you have a number of different tools here. It's a multi-tool site, which is nice. The first one here is some basic trading. So if you want to, say, trade a commodity, you have some of the different commodities that are tradable up here. Let's say you want to trade Laronite. You can choose whatever ship you're flying. Let us use the Cutlass Black again. You can see here what are the buy and sell prices. Where can you get them? You can see the estimated flight times from these different areas. Maybe you want to go and sell someplace else. Um, it's then calculating the prices for you. You can see price development down here. Really nice. If you're more into mining, then you can go in here. I really like to mine Quantanium. You can see it actually saves your settings between the sessions after I had the fan open or uh, closed. I actually love that. So if you want to go for Quantanium, you can say here, okay, I want to mine Quantanium. You can see the, the prices for the raw materials and for the refined materials. And the cool thing here is if, when you find a rock, you type in the size of the rock. Now I see here, I did a test earlier where I typed in a mass of 4,000, but let's just say we find a bigger one that's 5,000. And let's say that this rock is 25% Quantanium. Then it tells you here what is the total SCU cargo that you're going to get uh, get out of it, total amount. And it also up here is going to uh, estimate how much that thing is going to be worth in its raw format, but also in its refined format after you did the refining process. And furthermore, you can also see down here, it also shows for the different materials where you can find the materials, what different locations in the game are the different materials available. So you can sit here and you can play around with that. Wonderful. Once you move on to the refining session, you can go into the refining tab and then you can then take your quantanium, take the amount you have, tell it where you're at, choose the different refining method you want to use, and it will calculate how much um, you're going to get out of it in terms of profit for doing that refining process. And it just keeps on going and going and going. When you're done with your refining, you can then go to a little price tab. Then you can see here, these are some of the hand mineable materials and tradable materials. What are the prices on the different, uh, different locations? And... Um, 
There are charts so you can see price development of different materials as well. And there are some other tools, for instance, if you want to see, this is really cool actually, if you want to see different ships, you can then go and find your, your specific ship here. Um, again, we're going to go and see if we can find that Drake Cutlass Black again. There it is, Drake Cutlass Black. They have a little icon showing you what is the availability of the ship. Is it available in-game? Um, can it be rendered and can it be bought in-game? Different icons here. And you can then see um, out here these uh, prices here. I wish they would have a scrolling and have a, a frozen uh, top here. So you don't have to scroll up, but you can see here what the price of the of the ship is if you want to buy it for real money or if you want to buy it in game and what is the rent price if you want to uh want to rent it so there is a really handy overview of the ships there so you can always see what kind of, uh, of ships are available next we will move on to the deep space crew universal item finder if you want to find anything here we're not talking talking tradable materials or anything like that if we're talking about well, anything actually you can find whatever also armor weapons uh, weapons upgrades, all that stuff you can find here. So you can see here, you can choose different if you want to find undersuits or torso or helmets or hats if you want to go for your clothing, um, first person weapons with, with their attachments, food and drinks even if you want to find specific food and drinks, all the different categories. So let's say I want to find a weapon and let's say uh, you really want to, I don't want to find like an uh, FS9 light machine gun, wonderful weapon. There it is. Click on that. And we get a picture of the weapon, oh, very, very pretty looking gun. You get some um, some basic stats of the weapon here, and you can see where you can get it at what prices. Wonderful site if you're looking for specific pieces of armor, equipment. Um, and as I said, they are doing the same thing, but also for ship, ship weapons, turrets, missiles, anything, you can find it in here. Super, super awesome. And again, link is in the description. Next, we have Galactic Logistics, also a super, super awesome site. This is... If you really want to nerd out and go into the nitty gritty detail and you want to have all the behind the scenes stats of whatever you want in the game, they are right here. We talked about refineries earlier. Now we can also go in and we can look up different refineries. We can see the exact yield um, that you, you get from the different refineries and those kind of things. So some refineries are better at some materials than others. So you can see all that in here. And also you can go in and look up specific instability um, stats and resistance stats on the different mineable materials. So if you're ever in doubt, for instance, why Contanium is so valuable, just look at the instability, look at the resistance compared to anything else that's in the game. You've got to be careful, it's going to blow up. You can see the optimal window size is also... So all that is the stuff you can find in here. This was just the mining section. They have a whole data bank over here where you can see ships and items. And like, you can just really nerd out if you want to go in and you want to find like hidden stats on anything in the game. Go look it up. There's a good chance that if those stats are known, they are somewhere to find here on uh, Galactic Logistics. And the final one is the SC Trade Tool. This is for all you space truckers out there. There has been some other tools that has had some, um, some trade functionality built into them. But this is a dedicated tool for space truckers, people who like to go buy stuff low, sell it high. And as you can see here, you have like... If you want to have trade routes, best if you're just looking for a specific buyer, you can go in here and you can then say, let's go find a trade route, for instance. And again, you can go and you can find your, uh, your the ship you'd like to fly and how much um, money are you willing to, to invest. Let's say I want to invest uh, 100,000 maybe. And we're going to click submit. And then they're going to give me suggestions for trade routes, like what could I what could I pick up and where could I then go and, and sell it and how much profit would I made and what is the estimated flight times between them, uh, the different locations, all that stuff. Again, you can see here and they have tons and tons. They also have a mining section in here if you're interested in that. But there are again tons and tons of different tools for, for finding good trade routes if you are into that. And again, more mining tools down here, but it has also been covered by some of, uh, some of the other sites. But for dedicated trading, I think this is one of the, one of the real good sites. As I said, I've really only picked five here just to try and limit the length of the video, but there's a ton of good tools out there. If you have a favorite tool, post it in the comment section down below and share it with the rest of the community. And if you are heading down to the comment section anyway below the video, I would really appreciate if you would consider hitting the subscribe button on the way. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.